Store the seeds. Understanding English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms. Specifically, we'll explore the phrase, store the seeds. This idiom might sound simple, but it's packed with meaning and history. So, let's get started and unravel the secrets behind this interesting expression. Store the seeds is an idiom that isn't just about planting or agriculture. It's a metaphor that means preparing for the future or saving resources. This phrase is often used to advise someone to keep something valuable for future use, much like how farmers store seeds for the next planting season. It's about being prudent and thinking ahead. This idiom has its roots in agriculture. For centuries, Farmers have known the importance of saving seeds from the current harvest to ensure they have what they need for the next planting season. This practice is crucial for their livelihood and survival. The phrase has since evolved into a more general life lesson about conservation and preparedness. Let's look at some examples of how store the seeds can be used. 1. Financial planning. It's important to store the seeds for your retirement so you're not in a bind later. 2. Education and learning. By studying hard now, you're storing the seeds for a successful career. 3. Relationships. Investing time in your friendships is like storing the seeds for a support network you can rely on. When using this idiom, avoid these common mistakes. Don't take it literally. Remember, it's a metaphor. Don't confuse it with similar phrases like, sow the seeds, which means to start something that will develop later. Use it in the context of preparation and future planning, not immediate actions. Store the seeds is more than just an agricultural reference. It's a valuable life lesson about preparation and foresight. We hope this video helps you understand and use this idiom correctly in your conversations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to store the seeds of knowledge by subscribing to our channel for more English language tips. See you next time.